But Hickson really is at a different level from most other jiu-jitsu players, which I believe is true. And you, and you ask yourself why. It's not because he knows more technique or new technique, because he didn't. Was, his jiu-jitsu is very simple. My hypothesis is that he, when he rolls, when he was able to roll, and this is his as well, which is where I think he got the theory from, he maintains connection throughout the roll. I think that a lot of this is getting lost. So what happens is when the base posture connection isn't passed down to the other students, and there's not that many people, I think, in the world that are really know the fundamentals of jiu-jitsu, then that's made up for with movement. That's made up for with counter for counter movement, which is the evolution of jujitsu that you see today. And that's beautiful, and I'm not saying anything against that, and it's awesome, and they're great competitors. But I don't see a lot of the pressure anymore. And I know from my experience traveling around that when people come to different gyms or travel around who do have that pressure, they usually catch people by surprise, because the rest of the people in the gym aren't used to it. Because almost everybody is holding each other down with their hips on the mat, with their knees on the mat. And they're making up for all the space that gets created by doing more transitions and movement. And it's a beautiful game. It's awesome, especially when you're 20 and 30. But when you start to get outside your weight class, or when we transition into fighting, um, or when you get older, it's not going to carry over quite as well. Because anything that's moving for movement is going to be, to a degree, more attribute-based than something that's based on pressure and weight. Because we all get slower, but few of us get lighter. And if you keep training jujitsu and you get more relaxed, even if you get lighter, you'll still get heavier. So when we can learn to use that weight and pressure to make up for scrambles. But I just think a lot of this information is missing. So my, one of my goals with SBG is in the next 10 or 20 years, myself and some of the other coaches is to collect as much of this information as possible and kind of boil it down and then pass that along as the curriculum so that you guys have it to torture everybody else.